Game of Thrones is one of the most popular TV shows of all time and also one of the best if it wasn't for that last season. In this video, we have 15 facts that you may not have known, and let me know in the comments if you did know any of these. Grandmaster Pycelle's elderly and feeble demeanor is actually an act, briefly alluded to in a scene from season 1's finale. It shows Pycelle doing a series of stretches, and you can see here he's standing up straight, but right before he leaves, he slouches again. A deleted scene between Pycelle and Tywin shot for the third season shows Tywin seeing through Pycelle's charade, and again he switches to his normal posture and speaking cadence. There are times when I have trouble believing it myself. There was a rumor that prior to being cast, Lena Headey, who plays Cersei, and Jerome Flynn, who plays Bronn, had been in a relationship that ended in bad terms. Each had a clause inserted into their contracts that they were never to share scenes and must remain apart on set. Flynn, however, stated that this is not true, saying, We were actually in the same scene together, and the last time I saw Lena, we were speaking, so I wouldn't believe everything you read. Nevertheless, Bronn and Cersei are only together in one very brief scene on the show, and all their direct interactions happen off screen. The actor who plays Tom and Baratheon actually appears earlier in the show, playing Martin Lannister in season 3. He was recast for season 4 as Tom. Similarly, the actor Jefferson Hall plays Hugh of the Vale in season 1 of Game of Thrones and also portrays Jason Lannister in The House of the Dragon. Kit Harington broke his ankle in 2012 when he was locked out of his apartment building in London and fell while trying to climb to his flat. During season 3 of the show, the crew had to figure out how to shoot around the injury, including the use of stand-ins in Jon Snow wigs. Harrington felt so guilty that he bought the production manager a bottle of whiskey. Peter Dinklage was George R. Martin's only choice for playing Tyrion and no other actors even auditioned. Dinklage was nominated 8 consecutive times for each season for the Best Supporting Actor Emmy and he won it 4 times, setting a new record. A gelatin heart was made for the scene in which Daenerys must consume a horse's heart raw. Although it was safe to eat, Amelia Clark said it tasted like chlorine and raw pasta, and was still foul enough that her facial expressions and gagging while forcing it down required no acting for the camera. Executive producers David Benioff and D.B. Weiss stated that when the show began, they set a rule of no prophecies, dreams, or flashbacks. All three rules were eventually broken with the inclusion of Bran's dreams of the Three-Eyed Raven, prophetic visions in the House of Undying experienced by Daenerys, and a flashback scene to Cersei's childhood. The average cost of production per episode of the show up to season 6 was around $6 million, with the most expensive being season 2 episode 9, Blackwater, which reportedly cost $8 million. However, HBO decided to set a budget of $100 million for season 6, which meant each episode of the season had an average production cost of $10 million. This put the show on par with Friends as the most expensive television show of all time, although most of the budget for Friends went to the star's salaries rather than the production. The first season of The House of the Dragon pushed the envelope even further with a production budget of nearly $200 million, an average of almost $20 million per episode. Each one of Daenerys' dragons is named after someone she'd lost in her life. Drogon, the largest dragon, was named after her husband Khal Drogo. Rhaegal was named after Daenerys' brother Rhaegar Targaryen, who was killed by Robert Baratheon in the Rebellion. Viserion was named after Daenerys' abusive brother Viserys, and she claimed that she named her dragon this because Viserys was cruel and weak, but yet still her brother. In every season, except the seventh, at least one monarch dies. In Season 1, it's Robert, in Season 2, Renly, in Season 3, Rob, in Season 4, Joffrey, in Season 5, Mance Raider and Stannis, in Season 6, Tommen, and in Season 8, Cersei and Daenerys. In 2012, over 160 baby girls in the US were legally named Khaleesi after the character on the show, although it's not her actual name, just her title. Ron Donachie, who plays Sir Roderick, and Daniel Portman, who plays Podrick, are father and son in real life. Iwan Rion, who plays Ramsay, was the runner-up to play Jon Snow and was later cast as Ramsay. Alfie Allen and Joe Dempsey also auditioned unsuccessfully for Jon Snow, but were later cast as Theon and Gendry. Renly Baratheon has his own Kingsguard that includes Brienne. In the novels, they're known as the Rainbow Guard, but HBO elected to not use that name as it could be interpreted as a jab at Renly's homosexuality, which is only subtly referenced in the novels but made explicit in the series. George R. Martin intended to write an episode for each season, but did not write one after the fourth season because he was busy focusing on finishing the sixth book of the series, The Winds of Winter. In present day 2024, the book is still not finished. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, and you can watch some of my previous videos here.